a little surprise, I've got to be honest. Um, you know, I think uh, when you look back at my generation and even before, there's a lot of players who are not in the Hall of Fame, and in my opinion, should be. So I, I'm slightly surprised that, but very honoured at the same time. Yeah, it's fantastic um, to be awarded with an award like that, especially for your country. Um, it's been a, a good year for myself internationally. I've played played quite a lot, and uh, it's just it's it's been an easy squad to fit into, and uh, we've obviously done well qualified, and we've got a, a great summer to look forward to now. Uh, I mean, it means the world to me. Uh, just unreal feeling, like putting on the jersey and stuff. But uh, European Championship qualifiers there past that was that was one of my main highlights, being captain for the tournament. So really proud to be captain for that, and just hopefully I can continue on getting to the next stage. Well, I think the first time you ever play for Ireland, where we played against Wales at uh, the old Lansdowne Road, and. I didn't know what you expect really, so just coming in and meeting the lads and you know, finally realising your dream. You know, any young kid will tell you what the first thing you want to do is become a professional and then at some stage you love to be an international and when you get your first international call and your first international cap, your first international game is something that you don't forget. And obviously qualifying for Euros, Ireland had never qualified for a major tournament before, so to be part of a squad of, of, of lads that actually achieved that was, was memorable. And, First game England, you know, and you beat them one 0 and you score the only goal of the game, your first international goal. You don't get much better than that. Yeah, you think about it every day. Um, when you're on the pitch, you, you're playing for your club, and you don't think about it too much. But truthfully, you, you want to stay fit, and it's it's um, something to really look forward to. And it does, well, it hasn't come around for a long time, and it's something we're all very proud to be to be part of. So uh, it's it's about playing as well as you can for your club to be to be on the playing going and, and uh, to stay fit, as I said. It's very important in the first game, and just my experience of being in, in tournaments. The first game is so important; you don't get beat because you give yourself a mountain to climb after that. If you do, you know, because the pressure comes on you. You know, you have to win at least one of the, your next two matches, and if you don't, the chances are you're you're, you're going about to, they're going to be about to leave the, the the competition. So very important that we don't lose the first one. If we do that and then build from there, it could all come down to the Italy game. And you know, the lads' record against Italy of late's been sensational. You know, we've got Marco, we've got uh, Giovanni and Faustino, and uh, three lads that come from Italy. So they're, you know, the place of birth, and I'm sure they all, uh, they'd love to put one over Italy if it goes that far. It's a tough group, but I don't think there was ever going to be an easy group. Maybe it's a little bit tougher than what you might expect, but um, I think Robbie said it. Um, I think the Irish normally thrive under being underdogs, um, so that's what we'll probably be. And I think besides Spain. Every other team will expect to be every other team and, and we'll be the same, so hopefully we can do well.